Welcome back to this next video in which we are discussing polynomials, modulo and ideal. Okay, so what we're going to do in this final video is have a look at a concrete example of concluding that a polynomial is irreducible uh, using this technique involving uh, taking polynomials modulo a certain ideal. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is use the ring of polynomials with coefficients in the integers. Okay, so the integers is one of our favourite uh, integral domains and we're now constructing the ring of polynomials over the integers which will therefore be a ring of polynomials over an integral domain. Okay, so we can now apply this theorem that we've been working on uh, which says that if we have a non-constant monic polynomial we can uh, show that it's irreducible by looking at what it is uh, with modulo and ideal. Okay, so let's take some polynomial from the ring of polynomials with coefficients in the integers and it will need to be a monic polynomial. Now let's just go for a second degree polynomial. So we'll have x squared, let's go for the plus 7x plus 5. Okay, that's certainly an element of the ring of polynomials with coefficients in the integers here, z adjoin x. Okay, right, so now what we want to do is we want to uh, map it onto what it is modulo a certain ideal. Okay, so which ring homomorphism am I going to use then now? So I'm going to use the ring homomorphism phi, which will go from the ring of polynomials with coefficients uh, in the integers, to uh, the ring of polynomials with coefficients in, and I'm going to pick the biggest proper ideal that I can come up with, which is 2z here. So z mod 2z, and we're looking at the ring of polynomials over z mod 2z. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is send every polynomial with coefficients in the integers uh, to the polynomial in z mod 2z to join x, where you just ask for each of the coefficients in the original polynomial, what is that coefficient modulo 2? Now, of course, modulo 2, there are only two elements, 0 and 1. So in this uh, ring here, z mod 2z, uh, there are only two elements, 0 and 1. Okay, and all the even uh, integers are uh, in the coset with 0, and all the odd integers are in the coset with 1. Okay, so if we want to map this then onto what it's going to be mapped onto in z mod 2z adjoin x, uh, it's going to be mapped onto, let's work this out, so 1 will go onto 1, so we'll keep the x squared, uh, 7 will go onto 1 here because it's odd, and 5 will also go onto 1, so this will be mapped onto x squared plus x plus 1 uh, in z mod 2z adjoin x. Okay, so now the question becomes, can I write this as the product of two uh, polynomials of smaller degree than it um, in this um, polynomial ring here over this quotient ring? Okay, and if the answer is no, then I know that I can conclude that the original polynomial here was irreducible in the ring of polynomials with coefficients in the integers. Okay, so let's uh, have an attempt to do this. Uh, so. This is an integral domain. Z mod 2z is an integral domain. It's actually a field, so it's certainly an integral domain. Okay, uh, so that means that the degree of the product of two polynomials is going to be the sum of the degrees of the two things that you're multiplying together. Okay, so if we're going to get a degree 2 polynomial, there are only uh, two options of what we can multiply together. We can multiply a degree 2 polynomial with a degree 0 polynomial, or we can multiply a degree 1 polynomial with a degree 1 polynomial. The degree 2 with the degree 0 isn't an option because that wouldn't even satisfy our theorem because degree 2 wouldn't be a polynomial of degree less than it. So the only option we have is to try and show that this is writable as the product of two degree 1 polynomials, and if we succeed then we uh, fail, basically. If we succeed in writing this as the product of two uh, polynomials of degree one, we fail because we wanted to show that it was impossible to do that. If we do fail to do that, i.e. it is impossible to write it as the uh, product of two degree one polynomials, then we can conclude that this polynomial back here in the ring of polynomials over the integers was irreducible. Okay, so let's go. Uh, so, 
Degree 1 polynomials. What do degree 1 polynomials look like in z mod 2z adjoin x? Well, there aren't that many of them. That's the beauty of this ring of polynomials. There aren't that many elements in it because there aren't that many elements in z mod 2z. There's only 0 and 1. So actually, the only two degree 1 polynomials are x plus 0, so just x, and x plus 1, okay? Those are the only two degree 1 polynomials in Z mod 2Z uh, adjoin X. So uh, far fewer degree 1 polynomials in here than there are in Z mod, uh, sorry, Z adjoin X, okay? Uh, now, let's just go through every possible product then that we can come up with and show that none of them are equal to this. So if we multiply X with X, of course we get X squared. If we multiply X with X plus 1, we'll get x squared plus x, so that's not x squared plus x plus 1. And finally, we can multiply x plus 1 with x plus 1, and what will we get there? We'll get x squared plus x plus x plus 1, but the way we'll add these two monomials together, we'll add uh, their coefficients together, and 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, so this will just actually become x squared plus 1. Okay, so all of the possible products of degree 1 polynomials that you can possibly construct do not give x squared plus x plus 1 as the answer. Okay, so by brute force, I have shown that you cannot write this as the product of two degree 1 polynomials in this ring of polynomials over z mod 2z. Okay, uh, and that was our only hope of being able to write it as two polynomials of lower degree than itself uh, in Z mod 2Z adjoin X. Okay, so I failed, basically. By brute force, I have shown that it is impossible to write this as the product of two polynomials of smaller degree than it. Okay, and because I failed to do that, I can conclude that this polynomial back in the uh, ring of polynomials over the integers is actually irreducible in there. You cannot write it as a product where both of those things that are producing together are not units. Okay, because if you could, I would have been able to write um, this as a product of uh, two polynomials of smaller degree than it by the proof that I've already shown you. Okay, so there's a concrete example of using uh, this theory uh, to actually conclude that a certain polynomial is irreducible in a certain ring of polynomials. Okay, and with that we will finish our discussion of polynomials uh, modular and ideal.